Hi, and welcome to In Bed With Lainey, where we get stripped down to our raw, authentic selves to talk about sensuality and get a little comfortably uncomfortable. And today, I'm so lucky to get to be in bed with my brave sister, Tannis. Tannis, tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, my name's Tannis, I'm your sister, 27 years old. I have a two-year-old little boy, Xavier. And he's adorable, but I might be a little biased. <laughs> Um, today I wanted to speak with Tannis because we are very different. I'm very extroverted when it comes to talking about um, sensuality and uh, my relationships, and Tannis is a little more introverted. And I was curious about her perspective and what we might learn for our more introverted or private, shy partners. So Tannis, how does being uh, more introverted affect your romantic relationship? I don't think that it does affect my romantic relationship. I think it just affects people that want to know my details in my relationship. I don't really talk about it and uh, I prefer to keep it private. What is some advice that you could give uh, someone that is extroverted in a relationship with an in introvert? Uh, well, I think they would have to let themselves be a little bit more vulnerable each time, a little bit at a time, and see how they feel. And hopefully it will increase their their life, their, their relationship. How, how, would I, how would I talk to my partner as an extrovert? I don't think talking to people in your relationship is a problem. Uh, usually I'm pretty comfortable talking about my relationships with the person I'm in a relationship with. I just don't want to give out details to other people. What advice do you have for more um, introverted people out there? How can they spice up the, the, spice up the romantic relationships? I would recommend them to call you. <laughs> Yay! Good advice! <laughs> And if you don't want to talk about it, don't get interviewed. <laughs> Put me up to this. <laughs> what is your I, ideal dream date? I don't think it's necessarily the date itself that makes it special. I think it's the conversation, the feeling, the person, um, just the moment be doing anything. How about your ideal relationship? What does that look like? Okay, you're getting to personal. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what it looks like. <laughs> when you've crossed the line with an introvert. <laughs> yes, well, we thank Tannis for being brave and joining us today and talking about sensuality. See you next time on A Bit of Flaming.